About two hours drive from Johannesburg on the edge of the Pillensburg National Park, you'll discover the gateway to Sun City. It's the creation of South African leisure tycoon Sol Kersner, and it's a dazzling display of wild architecture and non-stop entertainment. In some places, all you can do is stop and stare. The Lost City is a 140 million US dollar African fantasy. Everything you see here has been man-made, and even an ancient legend has been created. Legend has it an ancient civilization built this place, and a giant earthquake destroyed much of the architecture, leaving a magnificent ruin that's been rebuilt today. Well, it's at least fun pretending. You'll find everything here from a giant wave pool to a vast lost city, theme restaurants and bars, a palace and even jungles. All potential film sets. Exploring the gardens, pools and jungles here can take you several days. Now, even the jungle has been man-made here, and what a jungle it is. It covers 25 hectares. It's crammed full of one and a half million plants and trees. There are streams, waterfalls, at least 300 different species of palms, and around 190 different species of birds. The interior of the overwhelming Palace Hotel includes animal motifs everywhere you turn. All artificial, but very lifelike. You can almost imagine the whole place coming to life. Now, wait a minute. At night, most visitors head for the casinos, the game parlours and the extravaganzas for which this place has become known. By day, there are two Gary Player golf courses to choose from, a tough course for the single handicaps or this lost city course for those who enjoy a casual scenic game. The Pillensburg Game Park is right next door so you can often catch a glimpse of a wild visitor right beside the fence. On the course, watch out for the 13th hole. Now there are several water hazards on the Lost City Golf Course, but the most daunting is this one, the 13th hole. Misjudge the approach and the ball will most likely end up in here. My suggestion is, Drop the shot. No, I definitely won't play that ball. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Good boy. You can't even catch your ball, China. <laughs> and most of the foreigners, they like this golf course because uh, they, they are free and to go with the cart and there is no big rough here, no. Okay. They can find their balls even they miss the fairways. Yeah, except for yes. that crocodile here. Yes, uh, yes, that one, they don't use the new balls, they, they use the old, only the old ones, because they knew that they will feed the crocodile with the cold balls, yes. At dawn, you can explore the Pillensburg from up high, or drive as we did. Welcome to Pillensburg National Park. The map of the park, the size is 55,000 hectares, it's 580 square kilometers. Now, what about that big gun? It's a 458. It's just for protection, for safety. Say, for example, we break down, we do get charged by an elephant or something. We always give the animals um, a chance before we will shoot it. Now that's reassuring, I think. Our 
our first sighting, a hungry warthog and an impala peering through the bush. See, when he starts running, he'll start throwing back his head. So this is the female here, this one. This is a young male. And they fully grown massive spirals. Actually. Not far ahead, a herd of zebras. No visitor to Pillensburg leaves disappointed. Now we've been lucky enough to see some antelopes and some baboons, but what we're really hoping for is a glimpse of one of the big five. Now that's either an elephant, a rhino, white or black, buffalo, a lion or a leopard. What are our chances like? <laughs> Elephants, rhinos, got a pretty good, pretty good chance. But the next animal to cross our path was the giraffe. So you're generally lucky enough to see a giraffe most days? About three days out of the week you will see giraffes. Yeah. Um, especially if you know they're in a certain area. All we saw of the rhino, a set of tracks. This is the other side. This is actually a white rhino. Though we did run into a safari group from Thailand. Finally, we were in luck. The giant African elephant. A small charge just to keep us in our place. What more could we ask for?